I have a pretty scary story if anyone wants to hear. Be me. US Marine, stationed in Okinawa, Japan, for those of you who don't know, Okinawa is an island south of Japan literally covered in US military bases. Be stationed on the smallest MC base on island, sleepy little base called Camp Courtney. In a jungle. PDF. Get put on a temporary base security detail, get a job as corporal of the guard, basically just sit in a little guard shack with an office and a TV watching a radio, and if anything goes wrong you go take care of it. Quiet Thursday night on duty. Pissing rain, sucking wind, thunder, lightning, etc. Get a call from a sentry on post about a young girl dressed as a walking into the jungle by the gate. WTF.exe Assumed it's something weird, duh. Get my barretta, pepper spray, flashlight, radio, etc. It's raining even harder. Walk to area where this girl was spotted. I should explain that Okinawa was where the final, and one of the bloodiest, battles of World War II took place, and hundreds if not thousands of civilians were killed, so I already assumed it was a ghost or some shit. Get to gate. Fucking soaked. Talk to the sentry about what he saw. I don't know man it was a short local girl in white she looked like a nurse, she went down that trail along the gate. Already knew that the trail led to these tombs. For those of you who aren't familiar in Japan there are these big tombs everywhere and it's extremely disrespectful to trespass, people say you'll be cursed and haunted if you do. There are some tombs on base that are off limits to all except family, there are signs that say off limits by order of the commanding general and everything. Well that's not good. Walk up to path, shine flashlight into brush. Nothing. Cry out ask if anyone's there, no one tired, wet, and a little spooked so I just say fuck it and go back because it's probably a fucking ghost anyway lol. Tell the guy it was probably a cat or something, there are wild cats all over Okinawa. Yeah fucking right dot lol. Two hours later. Sentry relieved, different guy at the gate. Sentry radios, tells me he saw someone walking into the brush. God damn it. It's like 2 a.m. Windier than before, still fucking pouring. The guy had no idea about what happened earlier. Go check it out again. Ask the sentry if it looked like a nurse. Yeah. Okay at this point I'm a little more curious so I tell myself I'll actually go in this time. Get up there, cry out, still no one. Step over some bushes and go into the jungle. Immediate regret but decide to keep going. It's so fucking dark, flashlight just makes it creepier. Remember that there are a lot of snakes this time of year lol, also big ass banana spiders. Ready scared. Tell myself I will keep going until I see the sign. They're big red and yellow signs, you can't miss them. It's a lot darker in the woods but also seemed a lot quieter, I think the rain must have died down a little. Trail is going back a lot further than I remember. Sign should have been back there, I can't even see out of the jungle at this point. I'm so far back I can barely tell if I'm on the trail or not. I'm fucking lost. Really starting to freak out. Tactical pause, take a deep breath, tell myself to stay calm, I could be getting shot at, things could be worse after. Hear a soft moaning cry. Sends chills down my spine, stricken with fear. Ask if anyone is there, it gets louder. Keeps getting louder, seems like it's getting closer. Feel presence walk immediately behind me. Say fuck this, walk away from crying and whatever was behind me, which is further into the jungle. In before you're retarded. Feels like I'm walking on a hard surface instead of mud and standing water. Turn on flashlight. It's cobblestone. You're fucking with me. Look around a little more. I'm within 20 feet of a giant tomb. P.I.E.'s whoever is buried here forgive me I'm lost. Crying is still same distance from me as it was before, like it's following me. Stand there because I don't know what to do. Frozen with fear, 
crying is getting closer. All of a sudden. Bleep cog this is Echo 3 Alpha Radio check over. Jump 30 feet in air and scream a little, as well as shit self. Radio went off loud as fuck. Roger Lima Charlie, out. Put radio away. As I'm putting it down I notice the crying stopped. Look back up. Nurse girl is standing there at the foot of the tomb looking at me. Sends a million chills down my spine, more scared than ever. She's a short Japanese girl, must be early mid-teens. Pale as snow. Instantly turn around and run out of there. Keep running until I finally get out of the jungle. Completely different area than where I came in. Make it back to the shack, soaking wet. Super shaken up. Next day I tell everyone. Guy who has been on island forever says he's seen this nurse before, same with some of his buddies. Ever since my lights in my room will turn off by themselves, hear random knocks on window, no one there, things will get knocked over etc. Still live here, still haunted af. One day my lights turned off, my roommate and I both saw a black figure, first reaction was to take a picture. Pick related. Feel nauseous and get goosebumps every time I look at it. No it's not fake.